Hello. Decided to drive Suzuka Twin tomorrow or Bihoku. Suzuka Twin is two and a half hours away. Can't speed there. Bihoku is two hours away. Can speed there, get there in about an hour and a half. Bihoku, now that I remember, only costs $40 for the day. Suzuka Twin costs $50 an hour. So I think we're going to Bihoku. So, just going to Toshi's. Thank you, Toshi, for allowing me to use your time machine yet again. We should have a time machine of our own tomorrow, which would be sick. Currently bidding one on Yahoo. So, just put some big Johnny 265s on the back of this thing. Kenda KR20s. And I'm stoked with how the car looks. Looks tough as. Front needs to be spaced out like 30, 40 mil. Then I'll be happy with how that looks. Rear looks sick on this side. That's pretty spicy. Right? Except... Something going on over there. <laughs> so yeah, I've just realized that that side of the car is lower than this side of the car. So I'm about to jack it up and check the coilovers, see what's going on. But the guards actually haven't been cut. They've just been rolled. So I think I'm gonna take the overs off and then cut the guards out. I won't weld them tonight because I can't be effed driving my truck over there, getting my MIG out, getting my bottle out and fixing it all up. So tonight I'll just cut them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna jack it up now, see what's going on with the heights of the coilovers. And then I wanna lower the other side to suit this side, cause that looks sick. Maybe even a touch lower. Mm, I'm pretty happy with that height. Maybe a touch lower. No, I'm happy. Yeah, I'll leave it there. So we'll match them up now. Barely been rolled. Should be able to go a fair bit lower after this. All right, let's get cutting. Okay, so I've just cut this one guard up and just cut all my slits in it. So I'm now about to bend it all up. And like I said, I'm not gonna weld it tonight because I can't be fucked. So here we are. So I'll bash it all up now and then See how low these coilovers go. Okay, so what I've just done is I've lowered the driver's side to where I've set the passenger side. So you can see how kind of close it is to the guard before I, before I cut it. And if I just sort of, am I gonna? It's basically gonna hit. So cut this out now. And I think this side might have maybe a little bit of actual positive camber. So yeah, we'll cut this out, sit the other guard on, work out where it's sitting on the guard, then work out and maybe I'll measure the camber with my you know angle gauge on my phone. So, all right, let's get cutting. All right guys, great news, this side's done. And it took me about a quarter of the time because the whole guard is filled with expander foam. Sick. Let's look. Let's get the light. That's like, that's this is the best part. And then it just gets worse. That's quality. Sick. So yeah. That's what we're uh that's what we're looking at. Oh hey. That's mint. So yeah, good news is this side's done. Fucking stoked. Other bad news I got. It's meant to be a bolt in that. But it's been driving all right with it out. So I pulled the top one out to see if I could have another bolt with the same thread pitch. M10 by like one. Maybe, yeah, M10 by one. Yeah, no, I don't have one of those here, so. Better order a new caliper. I have some Project Mew pads and new rotors coming. Probably should have done that a while ago, but you know, had to replace them, I had to weld the motor back together. <laughs> All right, let's put the fucking wheel back on, put the quarter back on, call it a day, mate. 1120, 1127. All right, so, not bad. Not bad.
this. Yes. Sick. Stockhead. Still like the rear to go down. Another 20 mil, I've decided. So I'll drive tomorrow like that. So I've taken camber out of this side. Out. And I've added camber onto this side in. And now they sit basically identical. I should probably just go get a wheel arm in here, but I've got other priorities and that's drifting. So I'm gonna put the rear bar back on now, pack the car, ready for tomorrow. And then we're gonna go, we've decided to go drive Bihoku because Suzuka Twin is so much further away, so much more expensive. So Bihoku it is. Put the rear bar on, pack the car, can go have a hot shower. Massive thank you to Tyson Lash. He's the one who saved my ass. He's like, dude, if the power's tripping, it can only be one thing. It's gonna be your element. Found me an element. Wasn't quite the same, but we made it work. Had to redrill some holes, and now it works. So now I have an issue with it being too hot uh, because the cold water pressure relief valve is stuffed. So, I mean, it's better to be too hot than not hot at all. So. Yeah, massive thank you to Tyson. He saved my ass on that. Got quoted like seven grand to replace it. The element cost me like 200 bucks and like two or three hours of my time. So pretty happy with that. All right. I need to space the front out too. Look at it. Is that. Let's get it. See that? That's disgusting. 50 mil bolt on would probably go all right there. So yeah. All right. Pack the car. See you in the morning. Good morning. What time is it? 6.15 Car's looking spicy, I'm hating the front fitment at the moment, but don't judge me Needs a wash And I haven't actually cut There's like a little inside lip here on this fabric glass I haven't cut that and that's actually already touching So I might quickly jack this up, yank the wheels off Cut that inner lip out so that it doesn't scrub the whole way to Bihoku, even though it's fiberglass and it'll probably self clear. I need to zip tie that on and then we're good to go. I need to give it a wash this morning, so I'm gonna zip tie that on, cut that, drive to the servo where you can actually drive through this little thing for five bucks and it'll wash your car and then the service station people will actually dry it all off for you. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, yeah, all right. All right, just stopped off at Lawson's to get our snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Keen. Stoked with how the car's looking now that we've lowered it. Merz is with us. Merz is coming to the track today. Yeah, front bar needs to be done, but I don't know if I've told you guys, I'm going to put S13 front on it so it can go see a lady. I'm struggling to find just the surrounds that go around the headlights and then I've looked for long enough that I was like, ah, oh, I'll just put an S13 front on it. But I'm stoked with how the rear's looking. Not bad. Alright, let's go drive Bihoku. Alright, so I've come to the car wash. You park your car here and it goes past you on this rail. I haven't done this before, so I really hope this sunroof doesn't leak. Do you have faith, mate? Yeah, I have faith. Yeah. I haven't washed this car since I bought it. Oh yeah, it's just done my wheels. Sick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. See if the leaks. So far so good. Oh! Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Woo! Stoked. I was, I was worried. He asked me what I wanted off the menu. I just said the cheapest one. I think it's like $3.80. I'm surprised it hasn't like ripped the rear bar or side skirts or rear fenders off to be honest. This is I suppose no different to a car wash in Australia so I don't really know why I'm filming this but it's interesting. It's in Japan, it doesn't matter if it's the same, it's different. Yeah we're getting a blowjob now. It's getting us good. That's us done I think. I need to go get my card off the guy. He's doing the chamois now. Look at this. Here's the menu. I think I paid 550, I don't know. 
it's hitting on the fiberglass or on the actual body. So when we get to the track, I'll kind of check the witness mark on the tire to see what's actually uh, hitting. Not too concerned though. All my cars make these noises. All right, I've just stopped off for the Lawson's, which is near Bihoku, about five minutes away. <coughs> Stoked with how the car is actually looking. I just want to the front the front wheels. I need to space out. Don't judge me, but the front wheels need to space out. But I have just bought a full set of Kiwamis in white. Don't know how they're going to look. I have rock, rocked the white Kiwamis before, and I was happy with how they look. But I don't know how they'll go with red car. But I'm decided I'm going to go five stud. So I'm going to sell all the P1s. I've only got four of them, and then the wheels I bought off Casey. <laughs> They're four and five studs, so I can still use those. So, yeah, but I'm I'm happy with how the rear is looking. It's looking pretty, pretty meaty. And the car's washed. It's the first time I've actually washed the car since I've owned it. <coughs> it's already dirty. But, yeah, stoked. Let's get some snacks and go drift. So, it has been scrubbing on actually where the uh, guard has been cut so when I get to the track I will possibly pull the <coughs> rear wide body uh, over off and cut more of that out because I brought my grinder with me so yes it's either that or raise it and you know we can't raise it so we have to cut it all right so a course is closed again today Maybe for maintenance or something. No one driving it, but there's someone like whippersnipping, so there it is again. Okay, so I found a power point. So I've parked my car here. I'm going to pull the rear quarter off and cut inside the guard, so let's get to doing that. It's been scrubbing a fair bit, so we'll cut a fair bit out of this. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. I don't know if you can see in the video how much I'm trying to like having to work for it but yeah they're on 22 pound and I'm friggin struggling it's so much better because it's way grippier 
but harder to chase because like I'm really having to work for it so so much fun though with these tires 50 more horsepower would be perfect all right more runs These KR20s are way grippier. Oh, what's going on with my camera? Way, way grippier. Uh, they're on 22 pound at the moment and I am struggling to turn them. Big time struggling to turn them. I'm having to clutch kick like four times around this corner here. But it feels so much better, so much grippier. But I'm really having to work for it, so yeah, I don't know, with these on I feel like I need like 50 more horsepower would be mint. But you know, we can't just add 50 horsepower, so yeah, it might be time soon for knuckles and yeah, maybe some cheeky injectors and an ECU, and then maybe just tune it with this turbo. It is a um I think an S15 ball bearing, yeah. Maybe I'll put a different turbo on it. I don't know. I've not decided. I just want to keep driving, but yeah, it would be epic to be driving a bit faster. All right, let's get let the car cool down a little bit, let the tires cool down so I can sort of heat cycle them and then keep doing skids. <laughs> These tyres are great, even for the power this car makes, which is, I have no idea. 12 PSI with a standard ECU, maybe 250, I don't know. So much fun. Alright, let's do more burnouts. <laughs>
clutch kicks on that one. <laughs> well, I'm having so much fun. This car is so much fun. More burnouts? More which camera angle you like more over there or up there because it doesn't phase me all right more burnouts <laughs> I've broken something. My tie rod is pulled out. That's not good.
thankfully it just unthreaded itself. So, we put it back in on the track, drove the car into the pits. Then I just fixed the alignment there. We're good to go for more burnouts. Just gonna eat the Snickers. We'll get back into it. <laughs> The day done. Still got heaps of tyre left, which is sick. Maybe only two more laps in these, maybe. <laughs> stoked. Actually stoked. Probably a whole nother track day in these. Uh, that one's losing a bit on the inside. Not too bad though. And this on the outside, obviously from that entry, but yeah, these are lasting ages and so grippy, it's sick. You're going to need to take a little bit more camber out of that side. But yes, so much fun. So, pack up now. Get home, I'm so tired, I'm pretty keen for a quiet night. Except I think my lawnmower rocked up today, so we'll see. I might mow the lawns when I get home. I'm unsure. So much fun. Alright, let's go this pack up. Convenie. Trophy. Okay, two more. Two more? Yeah, I reckon so. My two more last the whole track of the day. <laughs> so Bridget was gonna change these tires when they looked like a little bit more chunked they up. They were than chunky, that. that's why. There was massive chunks out of them, so I, was gonna, I thought I was gonna do laminate. And I was like, nah, they have way, way more laps in them. She's like, they've probably only got two laps in them. And she's driven the entire day on them. So good to know that they last ages. It's wild here, you can see this side, the left side is the entry. Is You can see the tyre obviously is used so much more on this side. And then again on that side for the right hand side. It's pretty cool to kind of see how much, where the weight of the car is going. That tire is actually compressing down into the ground, causing the weight to sort of fall over, and that tire is actually lifting up, um, which is pretty cool. All right, well, I suppose, yeah, pack up the tools. How's your day, Mirza? Great success. <laughs> Mirza had a drive of the 180. And the S14. 
What do you think of the 180? Yeah, it's a bit meh. Hey. The S14, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, this one's it's a bit slow. No knuckles, a bit boring. Alright, let's pack up. This is the drive out of Mihoku. Always love seeing this view. Just got home. Time is it? 5:40. I'm wrecked. Pretty keen for a shower. Honestly, stoked with how the 180 is driving. It's such a beast. Yeah, awesome day. No complaints. Um, I think I've had a fair few parcels rock up today. Coolest thing about like whenever I go out anywhere is I'm ordering stuff off Amazon all the time, and Amazon here is like legit sometimes same day delivery which is so cool so I think there's a fair few parcels right in the front door let's have a look yeah tires up garage stuff look at all these goodies oh my lawnmower sick all right let's put the cameras inside get all the footage off the onto the laptop and <laughs> And I'll see you guys on the next one.